I think it's really going to come from, again, the molecular changes in the tumor. Um, you know, there are a lot of uh, people that um, are doing trial, that are doing trials and preclinical work uh, where we're taking patients' tumors and really trying to, to see um, how each individual tumor is, is different. Um, it's, it's unfortunately, it's going to be more work in small cell, as I said before, because uh, it's a tobacco-driven disease with multiple um, molecular changes. Um, it's going to be finding that, and it might not be one particular driver like it is for non-small cell lung cancer, where you can just give patients uh, erlotinib or crizotinib. Um, so I, I think we're going, we might make some headway in, in that. Um, my other big thing is that my other, I would love to be able to really find the stem cell in small cell lung cancer. Uh, as I was trying to allude to before, um, there's a resistant cell and we don't know why it remains resistant, although, um, but it's, it's a, it then creates a clone. If we can actually find that cell and see how that cell is different from the rest of the tumor that we're able to kill from, from lung cancer, from small cell lung cancer, and, and actually be able to, to see what drives that cell, I think that's where we'll make a big hit because then we'll really get to the underlying cause of the disease.